Hello, I'm Dr. Lisa Wiedemann, an optometric physician for over 32 years, a carnivore for almost 15 years. And I wanted to do this video about this very important topic because when you clean up your diet and you get rid of the sugars, the grains, the processed foods, the seed oils, and you're feeling better, you want to really pay attention to everything that you put in your body. And whether it's, you know, fragrances, makeup, lotions, anything that has the potential to cause us harm. And when I say harm, I seriously mean harm. We have to understand that makeup is not so innocent. We cannot trust that these companies are fully disclosing what is going in the makeup. And I'm going to show you some harsh realities about these things that we so often put on our skin, on our lips, on our eyes. This is really serious. So I hope by the end of this video, you're going to have a really good understanding of what's going on with makeup and some good alternatives. So here we go. Heavy metals found in makeup. There's no safe dose of any of these because they bioaccumulate which means over time they are building up and we are not able to excrete them at the same uh, rate that they're coming in. And here's some more unsafe ingredients. And boy, I could have done five or six graphics on making the list of unsafe ingredients, but I wanted to just sort of start laying out what you need to look for. And here's some more. The PFAS, the polyfluoral alkyl substances, are particularly harmful. And we know all them as far as Teflon cookware. And I'll be doing a video on, <laughs> on that and the nonstick air fryers that so many of us have used. Uh, fragrances, perfumes, they don't have to disclose the synthetic, um, you know, endocrine disrupting phthalates and carcinogens and allergens in these things. Petroleum products, particularly um, carcinogenic and dangerous and accumulate in our body fat over time. So keep keep listening, keep understanding and comprehending what is in the makeup that we put on our bodies. Silicone, phenoxyethanol, some of these things get to the point where you can't spell them, you can't pronounce them. So trust me, they don't belong in your bloodstream, which is where they go. Don't put things on your skin, on your lips and on your eyes that you don't want in your bloodstream because that's where they're going to end up. Yes, yeah, so why is this so important? Check this out. This is a study that I came across. Avoiding products with parabens, phthalates, and phenols can turn breast cancer genes off. It was in a published study where they had women avoid those three toxins for 28 days and they tested their levels of breast cancer genes in them before and after the trial. And after 28 days, there was a significant change in their breast cancer gene expression. So when we wonder and think, well, is it really that important? This is my favorite lipstick. I really don't want to get rid of that, but gosh, what's in it? And why is it important? 
It's important because of this. It's important because our health is everything. Here's some current class action lawsuits against L'Oreal, Earth's Bees, Maybelline, and Bear Minerals. I'm sure there's probably others that I haven't picked up on, but it's for not disclosing the toxic PFAS's, the forever chemicals that bioaccumulate used in makeup to make them. I mean, there's other reasons, um, but the majority is making them smudge proof, waterproof. So when you see waterproof or smudge proof or long lasting so that it lasts all day, think PFAS and think toxic and think carcinogen. So these are some of the most toxic hormone disruptors that again, bioaccumulate, remember that word, builds up and worsens the toxic load in your body. And it can lead to several types of cancer, thyroid disease. How many of you out there, raise your hand, have issues with your thyroid? I can't believe over the 10 years that I've been coaching the exponential increase in the amount of women who are on thyroid meds and have thyroid issues. So let's really think seriously about our makeup. And I'm going to really kind of go into why lip products like lipstick and lip gloss have the highest level of PFAS, according to a study of makeup sold by major real retailers. Okay. So this is not just a hit or miss here or there. It is the highest level. They're used sometimes just in the processing of these uh, makeup products. And it won't be listed on the ingredients because the PFS, PFASs um, are found within the ingredient, but not an actual ingredient. And we just saw before, not all the companies are disclosing it anyway. So just keep remembering how important this is. Beauty and personal care products are some of the most overlooked and underrated sources of toxic exposure. I, You would think I would have wisened up years ago and been right on top of this, like really right on top of it. But I guess part of it is because I really don't wear that much makeup, but I do really like a little bit of lip gloss <laughs> just to feel finished when going out or going on video. So I recently, um, uh, let me just <laughs> go to this one. If you've been using conventional makeup, chances are there's toxic chemicals in it. If you haven't been diligent about figuring out what chemicals need to be avoided and what companies are out there that are really trying to be healthy. And I have so many people will say, well, I don't use those expensive natural makeup, um, you know, that you suggest because I can just go on Amazon and get Burt's Bees or in the local grocery store. Well, guess what? Burt's Bees was sold to Clorox. Burt's Bees is not such a um, innocent player in this game. So I think it's really important that we understand a lot about what we're putting on our eyes, our lips, and our skin. And remember with the bioaccumulation, the younger, if you've got young daughters, you know, this is starting early. These kids put on makeup really, really young. And there's so many levels of high levels of toxic chemicals in here. And we'd like to believe that we're being protected and the FDA and whoever else you want to throw in there think that they have our best interest, but we know better. And most of these commercial care products are full of endocrine disrupting chemicals that are extremely toxic and can really have an impact on our health. So I'm going to show you, <laughs> this is what I recently did. <laughs> that was a whole heck of a lot of 
um, <laughs> different things like this that I just accumulated over the years and didn't really pay much attention to because I didn't know that there was PFAS in there and I wasn't really paying attention, but I am now. And I hope, I hope after <laughs> we finish with this video, you'll, you'll have a, a new understanding. Thank you all for joining in live. I do see some of you commenting about the Yuka app. Yeah, I'm going to talk about that. Um, so lipstick and lip balms and glosses have been connected to the development of lupus, an autoimmune condition. This is serious. Absorption of toxins from the lips is more likely than from any other cosmetic. The lips, let's, let's think about this. Putting lip gloss, lip balm, lipstick on there, it can absorb through the skin. The lip is right against our mucus. It transitions from skin to intermediary type skin, the lip, to wet mucosal tissue that's very absorptive. And so here we go with the lips, uh, any sort of lip makeup. There, there's a few reasons why it's very um, alarming, the exposure we get, because what do we do? We typically apply it throughout the day, reapply it multiple times throughout the day. And on top of the chemicals that are in it, there's also typically a fragrance right underneath our nose that we are breathing in. And we all know that that's not good. So in particular, the lip products have to be really thought hard about. And in my opinion, one of the first things when you're going to convert to low tox and you're going to get rid of like you saw me in that little video of swooping. I couldn't even believe I had that much stuff. I have a little part of a drawer that was dedicated to that stuff. And um, but that should be your first swap out if you haven't swapped anything out yet. So think about the lipstick, the lip glosses and all the lip balms. Um, and I'm mainly talking about here. Like I know, Bev, you just man mentioned Fancy Farm has a really good tallow product. Yes. So the typical just moisturizing tallow product. Yes, we like to use the beef tallow. I'm talking here about when we want to have a little bit of color. And Fancy Farm does have here, I have it here, one of their... Um, beef tallow lip balms is tinted. So I will show, um, I'll try to demonstrate some of these things so that you can maybe see, hopefully I brought tissues. Yeah, I have some tissues to wipe off in between if you wanna see um, what some of them look like. Um, but yeah, we have to remember what I'm going over here is really the makeup side of this because yes, we all know to put beef tallow on our skin and beef tallow or emu oil or, you know, all these different natural animal products. But we really want to, because come on, let's face it. We still want to wear a little bit of makeup. And so this is what I'm getting at. Your lip products, like I just said, needs to be one of the first things you swap out because of those uh, reasons that we we're using them daily we're using them often multiple times a day and it's coming in contact and unbeknownst to us, we are inadvertently also swallowing this when these things are right on our lips. And remember the long lasting and waterproof lip products um, often mean that you're ingesting the toxic PFASs. So here's some safe alternatives. So I've looked into this now over the past few months um, because I have uh, a couple companies that are totally trustworthy of their products. And I also wanted to get some real cost-effective options that you can get right on Amazon. 
So I have that also, I'm going to, uh, everything's going to be linked below, but uh, some of these, so like I said, this was the, uh, I think they only have one uh, tint, the, the fancy farm one, but I have used this. I like it. I know there's, I'm trying to think there's another one, I think in this, um, this space, as far as healthy and, and somebody said it's very hard to, to spread, but I'm not sure what that one is, but this one, this one really does glide on. Um, okay. So the others I have up here on this particular screen, um, are different ones that I have checked with that Yucca app. Plus I've also checked ingredients and I think that uh, you can get a very good uh, array of different lip products uh, just from the selection here. There's lots of different color choices in some of these. Uh, I have the, just click on the link of the product that I have down there and then it'll show you all the different colors. But uh, let me just keep going here and see what else I put up here. Okay. So... Arazo is a company that I have the discount link for them to down there. So this is the shade that I have here. And this one is Italian ice. And so I have nothing on right now. And I happen to like very muted, not this is funny putting this on in the camera. <laughs> um, so I don't have any of those bright reds and colors because no, I don't wear them. <laughs> but um, I have a couple shades of this. I like it. It is, feels good. It's smooth. It feels like it's moisturizing. It's basically coconut oil based and I can put this a little bigger so you can see some more of the info on that organic beeswax. Um, wild picked Araza fruit helps to boost collagen production. La la la. It's, it's, it's non-toxic, no PFAS. And I've been happy with it as far as um, the, the, the use, you know, the feel of it the, it stays on and I like the color. So this is one. Now I'm going to get into that Yucca app thing here now. So this is this one and this comes in lots of colors. You go on the Yucca app and I scanned this and I took a screenshot and you can see it's in the excellent zone, not having toxic ingredients. And here's three different apps. I prefer yucca. I've used them all. I actually, it's, they're, they're all free apps, but they all of course have that pre pay, paid, uh, yearly up premium for them. If you want the yucca app is well worth it. In my opinion, I think it's $14 for the whole year. And it allows you aside from just scanning a barcode. So like if you're in a store that works fine, but if you're home and you want to go through your drawer of stuff, it's not so easy because the barcode on a lot of things is in the trash can years ago. And with the premium version, you can type in the name and it will come up or you can even type in ingredients and also um, come up with the rating. Now, I am going to tell you to be cautious with these apps. And it's not just the Yucca app. I found this on all of the apps, but look at over there how I typed in the Lancome blush, subtil rose sable, right? So um, you can see that in one version, it came up bad, in one it came up poor, and one it came up excellent. Uh, so, oh, and one came up good. We got the whole <laughs> gamut there. So you do have to understand yourself the 
ingredients, the toxic ingredients and what you really are trying to avoid. And I just put a screenshot over on the side. There was some sort of Alme pressed powder I had and I typed in the, now again, remember these things that say all day wear, probably unbeknownst to us is some sort of PFAS, forever toxic endocrine disrupting chemical in there. But so it does show up poor on all of those. And yeah, it's a good, it's a great start. I think one of the best things is, is getting a handle on what you have that needs to go in the trash. And I had a lot <laughs> that went in the trash. Um, but make sure that you start learning those ingredients like that I listed, understand what you're avoiding and why, and that will be helpful. Now, as an eye doctor, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about eye makeup. And I have to, I have to pull in here on this one with the, here, let me put this a little bit larger. Um, this is called tight lining. This is what you do not want to do with your eyeliner ever. You do not want to put that liner on the inner side of your lashes, where the base of the lashes come out. The pencil line needs to go on the outer edge of the lashes on your skin. And I'm going to give a little explanation why here at this next slide. This is a, uh, a special type of photography showing the glands that are running inside that lower lid that is pulled downward. And you can see those are my Bohmian glands. And the picture on the right, where you see that little droplet along, lined up like little soldiers along that edge where that person in the prior slide was putting all their black charcoal <laughs> covering those gland openings, that's an extremely important part of your tear layer. The, that's a little droplet of oil that as we blink, the upper and lower lids hit, and that oil becomes the outermost layer of our tear for a very important reason, to prevent the quick evaporation of the tear, because we hold our eyes open and we just momentarily blink but during that period of time that they're open for us to see, it is protected by that oil layer so it doesn't evaporate quickly. And you start to obliterate these meibomian glands and clog them up and cause, let's call it, wreak havoc on them when you put makeup on them. Uh, 2020 Beauty is a, a company who is formed by a ophthalmologist and she decided to come up with a line of cosmetics and she has a couple other things and I'll, I'll show you that are, as it says here, strict standards of avoiding and it over on the right, it's the five ingredients they steer completely clear of, uh, the parabens, the allergens, the coal tar and carbon blacks, the loose glitter and prostaglandins. And it's really important, like I said, that we pay attention that this stuff is not in our makeup and not close to our eyes. Okay, now I'm going to show you, let me get off of there, um, a couple of different things. 2020, has a has a number of products, mascara, eyeliner, um, and some safe eye shadow sticks. And this is they have a brow and lash growth serum. And they have this little kit, and it includes the growth serum. It includes um, a little tinted brow that comes in blonde, brown, and black, I believe. Um, and you at night just do one pump of the growth serum and apply to your brows. And then any excess that's on your finger, you apply to the base of the lashes. 
And over time, that will promote growth. And yes, it, it does work if you're consistent with it. Um, and they also have um, the, um, let's see. Um, oh, they have their own mascara, their, their own mascara. And I happen to have a few of these. Uh, these are all the eyeshadow stick. And I am going to uh, randomly pick people from both the, anybody who is here on my channel as a supporter, there is a little link where if you just um, become a channel supporter, um, you will be in the drawing. And also everybody who is in my membership group, my carb sober group, uh, I'm going to include, and I have all of these. There's a lit, this other one here is a limited edition holiday, uh, shade that they had. I'm going to also show you that Azera company, they have a way for you to try. Now these are all little samples and I think they're like $2 each. You can pick lots of different shades and they send you these little discs and you can see there's actually pretty many, pretty much in there. You definitely get a good idea. I'm having a hard time opening this now. Um, but none of this is astronomical. The, the, um, the, the cost of these things are, I'm going to say, really pretty reasonable. So when you finally get it open, um, you'll see there's quite a bit in there for you to try and um, match whichever shade you think is best. And they have, um, from what, they're, what I'm reading off of their info here, the cleanest foundations on the market no artificial ingredients, no preservatives, no colorants, and no fragrances. Every single ingredient is hand-selected to fit a skin need or function. And they formulated um, with ingredients that are organic, like um, MCT oil and coconut and vitamin C-rich, araza fruit. And again, not chemicals like I showed at the beginning of this um, uh, video because it's so important. And remember we have to, and especially things like foundation that you are spreading all over your skin. There is a lot of, uh, absorption and it goes into your bloodstream. So just remember that what goes on your skin goes into your bloodstream and, I just think it's really important that we pay attention to this stuff. I know a lot of you who follow me on this channel are well into the health space and well onto the using the beef tallow and not using any toxic sunscreens. And I just think that I'm going to guess maybe there's some of you out there like me that just sort of kept using some favorite lip glosses and lipsticks and lip balms and that it's time to heave ho, throw them in the trash and uh, think about how seriously we need to pay attention so that we're not putting anything toxic in our bodies. All right. I'm just going to go over and just try to grab a couple questions. Just threw out a bunch of long wearing lipstick. Great, Lori. Out it goes. I My, my trash can was full. It's kind of very freeing though, to get rid of that and say, gosh, I did not know better than during the purchase and wear of that. And I know better now and now we do better. So what is the active safe ingredient in that growth serum? Hmm. I don't know. I'd have to look that up. Um, you know, a lot of them just are using, you know, from what I've heard, I haven't actually used anything 
uh, I haven't used anything that like lash serum, uh, but castor oil, I think there's a combination of oils that they use for these safe ones. Not like, I think the Rodan and Fields had one, but the ingredient was a little bit um, maybe iffy. Uh, so, all right, I'm going to jump off here. Thank you so much for joining. I hope that this was enlightening. I hope that you will go into your makeup drawer, makeup bags, and clean some out. And hopefully all of us will get to be chemical-free, toxin-free. I am going to do some more future videos where I'm going to do a video on household products from everything from laundry detergent, dish uh, washer detergent, uh, everything, just because everything we're exposed to is having an impact on us and we really have to pay attention to it. So thanks again for joining. Bye.